Hi, welcome to Inti.com. Inti.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to Inti.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to explain to you 35 Java exception related interview questions. Very important. What is an exception? Exception is an abnormal condition that can be handled. In other words, an unwanted, unexpected event that disturbs the normal flow of the program is called an exception. For example, in your application, you are trying to reach um, a mail server. You, it's not available. You are trying to run a service which is not, which is down or shut down. Um, you are right, trying to read a file and file is not available. And you are trying to read an image, where the file is not available or something like that. And database connection shut down. Uh, it's not able to connect to a database, remote database, something like that. Okay, this is an abnormal condition that cannot, that can be handled. Uh, th uh, this is how the exception happens in uh, in Java. What is an error? Abnormal condition that cannot be handled that is called error. Like system failure, JVM shutdown, out of memory error. There are a lot of uh, errors, such errors. What is the purpose of exception handling? The main purpose of exception handling is graceful termination of the program. So the problem happened. How I am going to handle it? And is there any alternative way that I can handle and I, I can go through the normal f flow of code okay Gr graceful or if it's not possible how do I terminate properly like logging everything properly uh, and shutting down and re releasing the resources that I've used okay what is what is meaning of exception handling exception handling doesn't mean repairing the exception we have to define an alternative way to continue the rest of the code normally that's how that's what the exception handling means what is the purpose of try block we should maintain the try uh, we should maintain the risky code inside the try block while you're reading the file from the hard disk you can put that particular code the code that reads from the uh, hard disk that code you can place it inside the try block what is the purpose of catch block we have maintained all the exception handling code inside the catch block means you try to read the file you try to read the file and there is a problem file not found exception so in the catch block you how you're going to handle it okay what is try sometime interviewer might ask this type of question and try to confuse you but don't get confused the answer is so simple try is a keyword in java what is catch it's the same case catch is also a keyword in java is try block with multiple catch block possible? Yes, it is possible. You can write a try block with multiple catch block for separate separate catch block for every exception. Why do we need a multiple catch blocks in your code? The idea here is to isolate the problem. If there is any problem with uh, with uh, related to reading the file or I/O, the input output related exception, I will I will handle it handle it here. If there is any uh, problem with the uh, arithmetic calculation then I will have it here okay similar to that I have a I have SQL exception if there is any problem with the database then I will have a SQL exception here okay so this is to isolate the problem and immediately the developer will come to know okay there is a problem with reading the file there is a problem while, while executing the SQL queries so it's like easy for the developer to understand and go to the exact code and it will it will help you to resolve the problem in a short time that's why we need multiple catch block in your code okay uh, tenth question is if try multi multiple multiple catch block present is or in order sorry if try multiple catch block is present is the order of catch block is important in which order we have to take so this is this order matters can I place the exception above an IO exception down that's what the question means if try has multiple catch block then the order of the catch blocks is important please remember if the try has multiple catch block then the order of the catch block is very important it should be from the child to parent and not parent to ch child so always the exception class should come at the end and the, the and its child class should go at the top so at the end it should be always exception okay exception class what are the various methods in exception class there are three methods print stack trace to string get message print stack trace this method print exception information in the following format name of the exception description and stack trace to string this method prints information in the following format name of the exception and description get message this message message this method print only description of the exception 
If an exception raised in catch block, what will happen? If an exception raised in catch block and it is not part of that any try block, then it is always abnormal termination. Okay, so the idea here is I have got a problem in the try block and I'm catching it in inside the catch block and within the catch block I get some more error. Okay, that means it is always an abnormal termination. Okay, the remaining questions I'll be explaining in the next video. Thank you and all the best for your interview. If you like this video, please press the like, like button and subscribe button. Thank you and all the best.